All right, guys. So we just got to this pond. Matthew um, caught the first fish. In a cast net, too. Yeah, in his cast net. So. He kind of looks like a tilapia. Let's go ahead and throw him back. We're not going to keep our main reason for coming out here. Oh, go ahead. Come down. Gently put him in there. Just pick him up. He ain't going to hurt you. There you go. The general. So our main goal coming out here, guys, is really looking for some car carp for our pond. Uh, there's a lot of lily pads. So while he's throwing the cast net, I do want to show you this. I uh, oh, there he goes with the cast net, and I have no interest in these. I do want to show you that they're here again, and of course this time I got none. <laughs> That you see him jumping in there guys just a little grass shrimp so they're in there um we have plenty of plenty of shrimp so now we're just out today it's chilly see the sun's out uh, it's been almost 24 hours since our last uh when when i got my injury yesterday so if you watched the last video you would have saw this that's what it looks like it's about 24 hours later um, pretty well off, man. So, uh, yeah, make sure you're careful on where you're stepping and things like that, just in general, because that's pretty bad. If I didn't have a tetanus shot, I probably would have to go get one. So, all right, I'll keep you updated. Hopefully, find some cool stuff. Of, like I said, we're looking for a couple of carp. Oh, you got a fish? Oh yeah, Woo! don't let him jump out, don't let him jump so we can get a look at him. Oh man, that's a good looking, I think that's tilapia. Mom, I got tilapia. That's a good looking fish. Look at his colors. Don't you keep him? No, you we can't, we can't keep him, bud. Yeah, you see his big fat back fin? That's pretty much a tilapia. So, yeah. they're invasive here, we can't keep them. We're technically supposed to put them on, if we can put them on ice. But we can't transport him alive so unfortunately we can't keep him but that was definitely a cool catch and you know being down here in houston uh, it's kind of neat to see that you can catch some tropical exotic fish as many would say you know you can only do that kind of stuff in florida but yesterday we caught mollies so there's definitely exotic fish down here in south texas it's just catching them right so <laughs> if you catch something, I'm gonna be surprised. All right, we're gonna. All right, I'm gonna wait for you to scoop this up. Okay, let's see what happens. Hey, I don't know if y'all remember, guys, the last time we were out here. Last week we were out here, and the water from the rain was all the way up here. Like um, this thing has dropped tremendously since that rain. Like this was all underwater. This platform we like to step on. That one was, this was all underwater here. So that water rose up actually over this ledge. <laughs> you lost your shoe? And so I think the water was up like right around here where my foot is. So it's definitely gone down a lot. Sound like an old man, old timer. Hey, maybe. How you caught those fish, those two fish on those throws is beyond me. <laughs> oh, don't let them go. Don't let them go. Are those bluegill or tilapia? Oh, those are tilapia. All right, let your other one go. Technically. We can skate those. That one, that one actually looks more like, like, look at that dude's big old back fin. Put him in. Put him in the water. And then he got that bass. All right. They got some big back fins. All right. Can you get him? All right, he's pretty nice size. Yeah. Quit licking me with your tongue, dude. If that was on a fishing pole, he'd be nice to go in the pond, right? They don't. I just added him. All right. I'm 
another tilapia. Mm -hmm. Hey, you little, hold on. He kind of looks like the smaller ones, right, that we had caught. <clears throat> yep. Oh, let's go see what Matthew got. Come on, oh, you're bringing it over here? I think he got a little tilapia, too. All right, bring him over here to this concrete, and let's take a quick look. Yep, little bitty tilapia. Pick him up. Your mom just caught one too, but he's bigger. Let me see him. So he's, those are nice ones though. Those look better than those ones we got one. though. Like, I don't think what we actually have were tilapia then. Look at their big fins in the back. You see how yeah. it curves? All right, you can release him. Right over here. Yeah. Or by the tunnel. You okay? You gotta stop catching all these fish. I gotta go get our bucket. Don't let them out here because then you're gonna have to carry them down. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, yeah, you got three tilapia. If we were looking for bait, if we were needing bait fish, we'd definitely find a bunch of them. Yeah, those are, those are nice looking tilapia, right? All right, let's throw them back. Let's throw them back. But guys, that's a, that's a tilapia if you're wondering. <laughs> so, if you need to know what tilapia look like, these are pretty fish. Oh. He finned you? Yeah. He didn't mean to. Right. Uh, let me go grab my bucket. Hey, don't catch no more fish while I go get the bucket and stuff. I'll left way over here. <laughs> cool, a little warm mouth. Your mom caught, huh? Yeah. Awesome. I didn't see you. All right, so we've caught tilapia, a bass, and a warmouth. Oh, dang, there was something big there, right, Matthew? No. All right, we're going to, what the, that grass over there went further than your net. That grass. How have you been catching all these fish? Matthew, that's how I can get proof. I haven't proved Matthew catching anything yet. Is that the only one you caught? What was it? Let himself go. Every time I try to record him, he don't he don't know how to throw it. And then once I turn the camera off, the boy's catching all kinds of stuff. And you fell down, I don't think I got that. Ah, nothing that time. All right, we're gonna keep. Oh, your mom got something. Oh. You got another tilapia? All right, let me see a second. Let's see. Yeah, his fins are crazy. There's a good look, guys. If you need to know what a tilapia looks like, there's another one. Good look at one. All right. So uh, that's all we've been catching as of right now is mainly tilapia. The small ones we're not really showing it because we've already showed some. But if we catch some big ones, we'll definitely show those. Oh yeah. Hold on. She got yeah, she got a good size tilapia too. Let's go take a look. So interesting. Um, if we're catching bait, we definitely have plenty of bait for for our Galveston trip. So the small ones. Oh yeah, that is a big, pretty. That's the biggest one of it. Pretty red eyes, man. Oh, hey, those are cool. Why are they so purple? Oh, I almost dropped that on that little one. That's how they've been coming out whenever we've caught them before, and then when we put them in the tank, they just lose that purple. Let's see if they, they turn green. Well, we should have compared these. I don't think those are tilapia. No. But they may be. They that do one get the like lines. warm out, so I'm thinking they're warm out. All right, let's come back. Damn, I like that purple on them. They just never show up. 
Did you catch anything, bud? No? I've been saying, guys, this pond, this is by Petco, that they were dumping fish in here. And look, you got the bag, and they ripped it open right there through the fish in. So there's no telling, guys, where that. Petco's way over there, and there's my truck way over there. So it probably just drifted down this way, but like I said, there's no telling what's in this pond because they're definitely throwing aquarium fish in here. Where you going? Oh, back over here. I'm not sure. Okay, another little tilapia. That that warm mouth's yeah. kind of big. Yeah. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's get water in here. Yeah, throw that one back. Yeah, We're gonna go ahead and keep a couple of little warm mouths. Sure they're not fun. Yeah. Well, we could have <laughs> kept that one then. If we find something smaller, like maybe smaller than him, I'd like to put him in the uh, a couple in the fish tank. So hey, we'll keep a couple of warm mouths and see. We'll put some in the pond and then maybe put a couple in the fish tank if we get decent size. First shadow. Colorful. First shadow of the day. Those, those kind I think of it's their breeding spots. Yeah, yes, and color. That kind of looks like the ones, the silver ones, just bigger. Yeah. Dang. Matthew wants to hold them. Carefully put them in the water. Don't yeah, gently put them in. We want them to make babies. Oh, here he goes. Oh, really? Is he already dying? I don't know what happened. Those uh, those shad don't live live long, so if we pull them out of the water. We can't take any, or they'll just die before we get home. Don't be scared. I'm trying. Don't be scared. I don't think those are uh, tilapia, because no, if you look at their fins, aren't long enough. Well, they've got the, the wide the bar on their back. Yeah, put the them. Tilapias in there. have a solid black line going down here. Those are like little warm mouths. We'll put them, if they're, if they're uh, too big, we'll put them in a pond. They're not in a 65 gallon. We got four in there, so. Matthew had a good cast just now. Yeah. Is he caught on rocks? He can go in. He's wearing shorts. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> I, I I did told him. First, let me see if it's a rock that I can roll. Rock and roll. Man, I don't want to step on this and slide. <laughs> Turn the camera off. <laughs> Let go, bud. Let go. Let go of my shirt. Stop pretty good. You want to pick him up? Yeah. He's nice. I think that, I wonder if those are their mating colors. I feel like those are the silver ones. Here. Those are the ones I wanted, but they kept dying. No, 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 no. In here. He can't, he won't live in the. He, no, 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 that's not gentle. That wasn't gentle. <laughs> ah, poor Shad. We made it here, guys. We're my truck's laying on the other side, so we're walking all the way around here. Like I said we're looking for carp. The only thing we had to take home are some uh, warm mounts. We're not taking tilapia because you cannot transport them alive here. So best not take them if we if we know not to. Dude, I swear it looks like somebody's. Okay. Dude, I thought somebody was at my truck, but it was. I can see the light truck there. It looked like somebody was at my truck, but somebody just pulled up. She had to get in to get his net. Also, oh, that's why she's walking in there now. And he's casting right behind her. <laughs> what? What'd you get? Two warm mouths. Let me get over there. Give me that cute little guy. Oh, some of the scales are coming off. Yeah, we got them back. Man, he's pretty. Yeah, I know. I want them. Why are you gonna just chunk them twenty feet? You want the warm mouths? Yeah, the yeah. Well. Right, baby. I 
hope you didn't just let our fish out. <laughs> you okay? Do I need to get it? Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Matthew, come over here and we'll see if there's water in that uh, dam thingy. All right, that's all the warm mouths I want to take. Is there any water in there? I didn't get it. There's like a little, I'll walk over there, there's like a little ditch and stuff. There's a ditch, a creek. Oh, I'm walking through this high grass. I mean, I guess I didn't take enough damage yesterday. I gotta take some more damage here. Oh. There's a creek. Or something over here. Hey, don't go rushing down there. So this is this must be the runoff. There's probably fish in here because it connects to that pond. We should look see if there's actually anything before you throw it in there. Dude, I do not want to walk through this tunnel. I mean, it's low. Hey, is that a little fish swimming? That was a horrible throw. Yeah, so there's water. We may come investigate this another day. We don't really have time to do it today. But it goes around. So it may be cool to come back here and try to minnow net. I can see little splashes over there. So maybe set some traps in here. All right, but one more throw and we go to the other side. Man, that was a good throw. But there's probably not much over here. They're probably in the tunnel. Okay, let's head back. It's a big old shed. He is sliming me. All right, Matthew, don't kick him. That's a tilapia. Be gentle. And that is another warm mouth, it looks like. But we got a bunch to take home. Oh, I got more fish. Let's throw that little guy in there. What'd you say? Here, get him up. If he's little for the fish tank. Oh, hold on, Matthew. Oh, he's caught. Okay, he's actually pretty good. Let me put him in the bucket. He's like a good size one now. He's a good one for the fish tank. Okay. You got a decent size warm out here. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, let's see what that one. That one's a little one. Yeah, that's a big one. That's the biggest. Now let's see. We got enough for the pond for today. Let's throw these other ones back, gently. That way they can grow up and... All right. We got a bucket of warm mouths, guys. So, um, I think we got two for the fish tank and then the others we're gonna release in the pond. That was a good, good cast. I wonder if you can get anything. Oh, you got something. What'd you get? You got another little warm mouth? Go ahead and put them off this side. Cool, dude. I didn't see you as much. Oh, he died. He like dived down to this corner once he went in. He was like, phew. It's a green. Oh, I see some splashing over there. Oh, I'm going to have to come back and get the bucket now. Oh, that one's. Oh, damn! There's some little ones, huh? Yeah, baby tilapia. Yeah, that's a little one. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice size tilapia right there. All right. Hey, you want some cut bait? No. I don't know why you offer. Just because. I would love it if somebody offered whenever I'm out fishing. Alright, come on, little warm mouth. Okay. Did you get anything? No? Alright, let's keep going this way. This side's got a lot of warm mouths. Okay, guys. So, truck's up there. 
we're gonna take a look at this little side other than catching tilapia and um, warmouse there hasn't been any more bass only that one bass we caught and uh, no carp so we're about done if you don't see another video until the end when I'm releasing these guys I think we're gonna put two of these guys in the fish tank and the rest are going to go um, in our pond there at the, uh, the house so all right she's she probably caught something down there but um we really want to check in here for the carp when the water was over the carp were in these shallows eating the uh eating the grass and stuff this is a normal minnow <clears throat> i don't see anything bud there's a minnow in here <sighs> Where? Oh, right there? Yeah. Uh, it looks like a mosquito fish, bud. Yeah, let me see if I can grab it. Well, I'm pretty sure that's just a mosquito fish. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and put them in there. And uh, I'll throw them in the pond. <laughs> That way he doesn't have to carry them all the way down there. Okay. I think she's about done. Uh, were you going to check right here? Okay. So there's rocks. I think I like over here in this part, but not over here in that opening. All right, cool. I'll let you guys know if we find anything else neat or you'll see me back at the pond at the house. Something big splashed out there. Okay, guys. We got him back. It's pretty dark now. You can't even see the pond <coughs> very well. But, uh, there's still some dolphin in there from what I threw earlier today. But, I decided we're not going to keep any of the warm mouths for the uh, fish tank last time they were kind of a little aggressive um in the tank so we're gonna go ahead and release them all in here so let's see if i can slide down there and not fall while i'm at it because that would suck tremendously and um there we go So the little fish there scooting around through all that dog food in here and I'm kind of surprised nothing big really came up and ate some so that suggests to me we need some more big fish and you see all that algae I don't know if you can see it in here there's tons of algae in this thing uh, it looks like those whole plants are moving something big must have been in there maybe I don't think I don't think the little minnows moved that water. Could have been a frog or a turtle. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get them poured. Poured in here. See if I can do this with the light staying over here so you can see them go in. Oh. Well, that kind of went a little bit faster than I expected. <clears throat> See? Well, they're probably long gone now, guys. They're probably jetted. But there's tons of algae in here. I need some stuff that eats algae to uh, clean that up. I want some carp to clean up the uh, the lily pads so they're not overpopulating as they are. So fun stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and uh, man, watch out for some more and. Uh, We'll definitely have some more cool videos. Till next time.